friends welcome to yet another video in our series finance and investing tidbits what are the key differences in equity and debt as two sources of financing we often hear that company can raise money from uh, these two ways or by these two ways raising equity and raising debt debt is a form of a borrowing so when company borrows money it is called as debt when company raises money from investors it is called as equity welcome to the video so equity is the money which is put in by investors who are willing to take risk on the fortunes of the business in a way the equity owners are investing in a business investors get a fractional ownership of the company's equity it may be a very very minuscule fraction but nonetheless they get that fractional ownership Debt, on the other hand, means money lent to the company for a defined rate of return. Money is generally lent without any participation in profits. Both the lenders and the wider class of equity owners do not have participation in the management because the company, anyway, is founded on the principle of separation of ownership and management. Equity owners have invested money without any security. like mortgage or hypothecation debt is often secured by mortgage or hypothecation though it can also be unsecured for example the companies like nbfcs which raise money from depositors are unsecured deposits there is no security offered to them on the other hand when bankers lend money to a company it is against a mortgage or hypothecation so when we are providing debt to a company we must be mindful whether there is any security or it's an unsecured kind of a loan lenders compensation that is interest has to be paid irrespective of profits of course we also see companies defaulting uh, in case finally they get into a situation where they are not able to pay interest but those are extreme or exceptional uh, circumstances but in the normal circumstances the lenders compensation which is interest has to be paid irrespective of profits equity owners are paid dividend generally out of profits and completely at the discretion of the board of directors there is no obligation on the board to declare dividend and it can be skipped for many years and of course it can be skipped uh, even in very successful companies as we have seen uh, companies have not paid dividend for years because they needed that money to fuel for the growth interest is treated as an expense so when you see the statement of profit and loss you will see interest reported as an expense but dividend is paid to shareholders uh, out of appropriation of profit or reserves so it is not treated as an expense even for tax purposes because it is completely discretionary at the hands of the board of directors as i have already mentioned interest is mandatory and dividend cannot be declared by skipping interest dividend on the other hand is completely discretionary and also dividend can be declared multiple times in a year so you see companies declaring interim dividends practically every quarter and they also declare a final dividend that's perfectly possible equity investment is a high risk high return opportunity lending money as debt is relatively lower risk due to the underlying security however if there is no security even lending money uh, is a little high risk proposition and we have to be very careful there in case a company goes through a bad patch and is liquidated it is the claims of lenders which will have to be settled before equity investors are paid anything as a matter of fact equity owners are last in the queue and they would be paid only if there is anything left after settling the dues to every other stakeholder naturally the expectation of the return of equity owners is much higher than lenders because they are obviously taking a far higher risk higher the risk higher is the return expectation and naturally the return of equity owners is much higher than that of lenders since equity owners or investors take the highest risk their expectation is also very high hence the cost of equity capital is much higher than the cost of debt for companies do share this video if you have liked
its contents. Thank you very much.